look at all. Four higher doll said it best. Four higher doll in the 1940s and 50s studied these. He went to over a hundred islands in Micronesia, Melanesia, and Polynesia, even Easter Island. And he came to the conclusion after talking to all these natives spread throughout the entire South to Mid Pacific that Caucasians sometimes and sometime in the ancient past had been venerated by dark-skinned people as being culture bearers, people who brought civilization, religion, philosophy, infrastructure, technology, money, food. Caucasians were revered for all that in antiquity. Thor, now, the, the, the political climate and the, socio, and the socio-political climate in the 1930s and 40s and 50s when Thor Heyerdahl was publishing these materials wasn't like today. The Bolsheviks, the Bolsheviks did not have total control of the media as they do today. Back then, it was widely accepted that Thor Heyerdahl's research was right. It was valid. He was never branded a racist. But when I quote Thor Heyerdahl today, and this guy that you're talking about, they're branded racist. But it's not Caucasian records that's fomenting this material. It's the records of non-Caucasians that are talking about it. Even the legends of Quetzalcoatl and Viracocha and Kulku Khan all throughout the ancient Americas. They remembered Bokika. All these non-Caucasian peoples remembered bearded, blue-eyed and green-eyed, brown-haired, bearded Caucasians bringing them all the elements of civilization. 